When a child tearfully cries and shouts, it's not fair, or when watching a documentary about the suffering of people from a war, we feel pain because we are reminded of the horrors of human evil. And in doing this, we are also providing evidence for the existence of natural law and natural rights. A well-accepted example of natural law in our society is that it is wrong for anyone to hurt or kill another innocent person. The 17th century English philosopher and political theorist John Locke thinks that every individual has inherent and absolute rights, which are grounded in the laws of nature. Individuals are equal in the sense that they are born with certain inalienable natural rights. All human beings possess these intrinsic values that govern their reasoning and behaviour. Everyone, regardless of their governmental or political system, culture or religion, should hold the same rights and these rights cannot be denied and cannot be taken away by any government or person. Locke suggests that there must be universal moral standards across societies to form the basis of justice and he proposes the idea of self-preservation. He tells us that every individual has a natural right to live, liberty and property and that these rights are necessary for their survival and well-being. If a ruler goes against natural law and fails to protect life, liberty and property or if a government suppresses, persecutes and abuses its people then the people have the right to resist that government alter or abolish it and create a new political system. Locke think that the government must be limited in its power to intervene in the natural rights of individuals, rather the purposes of government is to protect the natural rights of individuals and to ensure that justice is served. People must be free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behaviour or political views. Individuals should be free to act, think and express themselves without fear of being punished or persecuted.